Hello. Today we have a question. What would be remainder when this expression divided by x square minus 1? For solving this, we use just the basic concept of algebra and the remainders of functions and get the answer. Can we say, assume this one is px, this function is px and this function is qx. Okay. So can I say, when we get the remainder when px divided by qx, when qx is equal to 0. So we put value of this is equal to 0 and from this we will get a value of x and put in the px. Okay. So we use the same concept. Go for the qx. qx is equal to x square minus 1. That implies 0. This implies x square is equal to 1. So we get x square is equal to 1. Most of the time what we do? We go for the x is equal to plus minus 1. Check remainder for the plus one check remainder for the minus one and use the chinese remainder theorem and get the answer for this type of question there is no need to go for these processes there is a long process calculation is so lengthy you will get a time we just get x square equal to one we use only this data to find the remainder can i say if we have x six we can write x square raised to power 3 and we have x square equal to 1 for qx is equal to 0 the remainder theorem basic funda so it's nothing but 1 x square 1 1 cube is 1 so can you say this is always true for the if x is a even power then we will replace by 1 same x7 is nothing but x square whole cube and x for the x square we have 1 from this cube into x that implies x so can I say for the odd power of x, the replacement would be x. So when we have a even power, the replacement is 1. When we have odd power, then replacement is x. So we put this value in this. What we will get? We will get nothing but px when the x square is equal to 1. We will get for the 100. This is an even power. So we will get 100. For the odd power, we will get minus 99x. For the even power, 98. For the odd power, 97x. For the even power, 96. And the last two term would be 2 because it's an even power. So replaced by 1 and minus x because it's an odd power. Replacement of odd is x. By taking all constant in the one side, that is 100 plus 98 plus 96 till 2 taking x or minus x common we have all odds 99 plus 97 till 1 and this is my answer so let's calculate all terms are the odd sorry for this all terms are the even and we know the conjugative events have nothing but n into n plus 1 the summation of conjugative events starting from 2 is nothing but n into n plus 1 and here there are the 50 odds so our value is 50 into 51 is my calculation for this complete summation of events minus x and these are nothing but the odds and the for we know odds summation is the n square and here the total are 50 odds so this would be nothing but a 50 square so my final summation is how much 2550 this value would be this value would be 2550 and this value is be minus 2500 x so my remainder is this if we write remainder in a respective form the remainder will be minus 2500x plus 2550 is my answer so what we use the concept we just use it, the basic concept of the remainder put qx is equal to 0 get the value of x square can you say this is my expression we do not factorize the divisor we generally do not factorize the divisor. For this divisor, we put the value and replace the rest of the x and get the answer. Okay, I think it's fine with you. If you have any doubt, you can message me or ping me on Facebook or you can write on in the comment box of this YouTube video. Okay, thank you.